Here in Waitaki, we are surrounded by beautiful hills and mountains, bordered on the east by the vast Pacific Ocean. Did you know that the ocean has played a huge part in the formation of the coastal hills and plains? Many of the buildings in Omaru are made from Omaru stone, quarried a few kilometres inland from the world-renowned historic precinct. As people wander the streets, fascinated by the heritage and beautiful buildings, many are unaware that they're surrounded by the fossil remains of ancient water creatures, the diatom. So what is a diatom? Let's take a closer look. Diatoms are single-celled organisms that live as individuals or in groups called colonies. They exist all over our planet, in salt and fresh water, from the poles to the equator. Most diatoms are autotrophic, meaning they can produce their own food from raw materials and energy, and therefore are restricted to the photic zone, water depths down to about 200 metres, depending upon clarity. Some diatoms are heterotrophic, meaning they cannot produce their own food, but rather are consumers. Diatoms are commonly between 20 to 200 microns. That's 0 0.02 to 0.2 millimetres in diameter or length, although rarely they can be up to 2 millimetres long. Diatoms are very abundant and provide food for many aquatic animals. They form shells made out of silica, which they extract from the water. Their microscopic shells are very intricate and beautiful, and have rightly been called the jewels of the sea. Each species has a distinct pattern of tiny holes in the cell wall, the frustule, through which they absorb nutrients and get rid of waste. Viewed under microscopes, diatoms show a huge variety of shapes, with many interesting and beautiful patterns. Their shapes and structure are usually highly regular and symmetrical, and these features are used to identify and classify them. Victorian era fascination with the collection, mounting and study of diatoms grew in a time of parlour microscopy as popular entertainment. Diatom enthusiasts' output ranged from amazing works of scientific value to purely artistic endeavours, with hundreds of diatoms arranged into complex geometric patterns. Omru exhibition slides are highly sought after today by collectors. One such enthusiast, Thomas Forrester, was the architect behind many of the ornate limestone buildings in Omaru, and was the first curator of the North Otago Museum. He was a keen amateur scientist with a passion for geology. Nowadays, Omru diatoms are studied all over the world and are important due to the diversity of species and their preservation.